Welcome to Get Offset. My name is Emily, and I'm here today with the Benson Germanium Fuzz. Benson may be best known for their stellar amplifiers, uh, but they're also known for their preamp pedal, which was a standalone that looked a lot like this handsome unit here, and um, was part of a collaboration with Chase Bliss for their Automatone preamp Mark II. So this is just not, it's not just a normal fuzz pedal, it's not just a normal germanium fuzz pedal. There are a lot of interesting things going on that I'm going to tell you about before I start playing. So uh, you might notice there's no tone knob on this fuzz pedal, but there is an impedance um, knob, and there's a volume knob, and there's a gain knob. So <laughs> let's start with the um, volume and gain. Those are pretty self-explanatory. How loud, how fuzzy, how dirty, how nasty. <laughs> the impedance is interesting though. So a lot of guitarists have noted um, throughout the years that if you roll back the volume on your guitar, it very much changes the characteristics of the fuzz pedals when you're playing a fuzz pedal. Basically, uh, people say things like it cleans up nicely, it turns into a really nice overdrive, stuff like that. Um, but that's just like every fuzz. So what they've done here is this impedance knob, and let me read it. Uh, I have the, what they have to say about it right here. The low impedance of the classic two transistor germanium fuzz circuit is both a blessing and a curse. A blessing because it can yield a tight, sparkly, clean tone when the guitar volume is rolled down, and a curse because it sounds nasty in a bad way. The, if there are buffers before it in a signal chain, we went to some extremes to keep the blessing and lose the curse, and they've done that a couple times in this pedal. Uh, they installed a Class A buffer in the very input of the germanium fuzz. This buffer feeds a pickup simulator circuit uh, an audio transformer set up as an indicator, resistor, and capacitor. These two additions make um, compatibility with other pedals possible without losing the desired sound. These two, uh, after the pickup simulator circuit, we have added an impedance control, which simulates rolling down the guitar volume to get that tight, sparkly sound without adjusting your guitar's volume. So there you have it. It's actually a really cool feature. Another cool feature is You've heard people say stuff like, oh, you should keep your germanium fuzz in the refrigerator or freezer or something to, because it's very susceptible to temperature changes. And this is true. So what have they done for this? Uh, it's, it's called a bias. It's internal. Uh, though you should not be adjusting anything, there is an internal trimmer in there, but do not turn it. It will void your warranty. But basically, it makes sure that the pedal um, stays at the desired internal temperature to get consistent sound. And that consistency is really key um, if you want to use this pedal a lot. So let's turn it on. And you'll see that it just went from orange to green. Orange meant that it was still warming up and it will probably go orange to green a couple times during the demo. But I am going to, uh, I just want to illustrate that part. So we're five minutes, uh, four minutes in and I haven't played. So I'm playing my, uh, her signature Stratocaster through my Strymon Iridium round B gain at noon, uh, room at noon, and then the tone the way I like it. And I am on the, uh, neck position of the her strat. bar. All right. Gain basically all the way down, impedance down, volume up. Uh, middle. So you see it's orange, it's working, it's working to get up to that uh, temperature it wants.
this back to about noon and we can start rolling up the um, impedance. <laughs> the volume. And that sounds more like an overdrive at that point. That's pretty neat. Let's try that on the uh, bridge pickup of the Hirsch drive. Let's try what they recommend as a clean boost setting and see how it drives the iridium a little bit. louder I wouldn't say it really drove the iridium but um your pedal will come with these settings I want to go through some of them so I did the overdrive I did the clean boost let's look at the uh, bright fuzz impedance at noon da, 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 da. <laughs> the bridge. Sometimes I don't even know why I do that. just by um, adjusting that impedance knob. So, uh, yeah. Now let's look at the distortion setting they have.
with this pedal a lot. I think we've kind of done sort of the full on sort of sound, but this is one of the settings, so we're gonna hear it. my temperature in my office it's, it's kind of cold in here um but you have seen that working to maintain the consistency what i think what impresses me the most about this pedal is that i feel like chris benson and his team really stopped to think about what are some of the problems associated with um germanium fuzzes and they really they work to fix them they know that people like to roll back their volume on their guitar to clean up their fuzzes and that it doesn't always play nice uh so they figure out a way to fix that they know that temperature conditions can completely change the sound and just how how germanium reacts inside of a pedal so they fix that and uh they created a fuzz that i think sounds really really good i've actually had <laughs> I've had this fuzz for a few months now, um, so I've played with it quite a bit. Um, it's just, it's stellar. It's a really cool fuzz. Um, enormous props to Chris and his team for, for what they created here. Um, and big thanks to Moz Distro for, for sending this to me um, to demo. So check it out if you like the if you like the quality of the Benson preamp. I think you're really gonna gonna dig this. And of course, it's pretty handsome looking. So um, please like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, check out our Patreon for uh, early looks at videos, um, not including ones that are uh, kept under embargo. So you saw this along with the rest of the patrons. Um, uh, we have merch at getoffsetpodcast.com slash shop, patreon.com slash getoffset. Uh, please use the sweet, consider using the reverb.com and Sweetwater affiliate links in the video description that really helps us out. And please, if you put music on the internet, please, please, please consider using DistroKid. Uh, you can save 7% on your first year of DistroKid if you use the link in the video description. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for understanding. My name is Emily. Goodbye. <laughs>